Howard was back from his conference in Brisbane and had already made a dinner reservation before returning to Melbourne. We need to go to Li Ho Fook, he told me. You'll see why. We were both very hungry, so we arrived at the restaurant on Duckboard Place, a laneway just off Flinders Lane, earlier than usual, around 7.30. A cocktail was quickly ordered. A purple haze, gin and prosecco, flavored with shiso and violet. Howard knew exactly which dishes he wanted me to taste, and was relieved to see that some of the items from his last dinner there were again on the menu. We started off with a spoonful containing smoked eel, foie gras, candied kombu, and pink peppercorn. I can't add more comment to that. Three small plates joined the table shortly afterwards. Black fungi with aged black vinegar, a warm Harvey Bay scallop with silken tofu and soy brown butter, Harvey Bay being a couple of hours north of Brisbane. Yes, you want every drop of it. Butter is good. You want every butter drop is of always, it. always, always good. Everything profits from butter. And these, remind me again? The cumin lamb ribs. Oh, yes. yes. And Xinjiang spiced lamb ribs with cumin caramel. All of these were fabulous. The lamb ribs with cumin caramel were scarily addictive. Howard was right once again. I truly did need to come to Li Ho Fook. Our wine had arrived. A biodynamic Les Arbres Viognier from Clos de Saint Anne, a New Zealand winery some 300 kilometers southeast of Auckland. We moved on. There were more plates to come. Crispy eggplant with spiced red vinegar. Wok fried Golwa pippies, very meaty clams from South Australia in house made XO sauce, along with Chinese fried donuts. And these are the pippies. The pippies, yep. Wow. In homemade XO. You see what I mean about hot like homemade, fleshy sorry, homemade XO sauce. Uh, XO. Yep. Oh, yes, this is quite. And Chinese donuts. Chinese donuts hot behind it here. And the shell ball. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> then came the Li Ho Fook Roast Duck with star anise and cinnamon sauce. How duck can be this tender, juicy, and seductively flavorful was something our server could not divulge. The side dish of salted cucumbers was a revelation, and the Fu John style blue swimmer crab and scallop fried rice with lap chong sausage and the house made XO sauce finished up our selections. I get very quiet when I'm eating such good food, and I'm a slow eater in the first place, so I didn't provide much conversation for a long time. Both of us were very, very happy, and very, very full. Obviously, it was time to unlock those stomach niches reserved for dessert, so we ordered a trio of desserts. Jasmine tea infused custard with burnt caramel, pumpkin seed ice cream with pumpkin jam, kombu and cocoa, and what were described as chocolate cherry and miso mignardies, little end of the meal confections. I knew I could implicitly trust Howard's reservation choice, and after our sensational dinner at Li Ho Fook, I was looking forward to further similar pleasures on other evenings.